Hello everybody, it's me, Alex the Hunted, uh, currently a bit ill at the moment, but still, I can power through this because as 2013 has come to a close, it's time that we do some listing off of the best and worst movies of 2013, and for the worst movies list, I decided I didn't want to do this alone, so I got in, uh, and I got in Anders that I do the um, Teen Titans podcast with, because she's, I like talking to her, and she's, she, um, um, Basically, she's going to give me an opinions, and I want to talk to her about these these ten terrible movies I saw this year. Say hello yep. if you want. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, do you want to basically? Oh, for how this is going to go, I'm going to split this into three parts. The actual video, the actual video, not the stream, not the stream. The actual video into three mm-hmm. parts. It's going to be uh, it's going to be ten to it's going to be yeah, it's going to be ten to seven, then six to four, then the top three. So, uh, basically, let's, let's go around and let's start off with the first one. My number 10 worst movie of the year. And actually, number 10 for me was always the hardest one to pick because it's the one you got to pick where you go, this was the least bad movie I saw. Like, yeah, so it was like the more decent one. Yeah. And, of the list. Yeah, and number 10 for me was Planes. Uh, mm. it, I'm just... Oh, I'm just tired of this of these and this this was a this, this was a Pixar movie that wasn't labeled as a Pixar movie, but it was so clearly. I'm so tired of the of Cars and Planes movie because Cars Two sucked and this just sucked. Uh, I worse. can't say it didn't. Cars Two definitely sucked. Like this is kind of what the thing with what Disney's been doing lately. Oh, uh, Cars was Disney, wasn't it? Yeah, was. yeah. Cars was Pixar and Disney. Uh, Cars was Disney. Sorry, P- Cars was Pixar and Planes was Disney, but it had a lot of pe- it was never labeled as a pi- as a Pixar film, but it had a lot of people from Pixar working on it. Yeah. And well, that's it- the thing though, like the good movies, like the magical movies that we knew Disney and Pixar once did, like like the first uh, Monsters Inc. movie. Or do you really think we're ever gonna see a movie like Lion King again from Disney? Probably not. Like no, I don't the- think Disney are gonna go back to two D animation anymore. Really? Well, no, I don't even mean just two D. I mean in general, like the great storylines and storytelling of those movies. I, right now, Disney is. I for me, Disney is trying to, especially with the animation, they're trying to be too much like Pixar. I'm sorry, not, uh, not Pixar, DreamWorks. They're, mm-hmm. they're trying far too hard to be like DreamWorks, and I mean, Pixar did have a good film this year with Monsters University. I thought that was a really good movie, um, mm-hmm. but Planes was just a train wreck because it was just it was basically. It's that problem that quite a lot of kids' movies have nowadays is that they treat the kids like they're idiots. Like, oh, yeah. You know, that's what that's what a lot of networks are doing. Um, that's what kind of, like you said, the Pixar's doing. That's what, obviously, Cartoon Network's doing for anyone who's been watching our, our, our Titan podcast. And it's just, they think that they have to dull down so much, but like, like you said in the past, no, they don't realize that the, the age of people watching animation and, in general, just kids' movies and kids' stuff is growing. Like the audience is growing. A great, kids mo- a great kids' movie is a, ki- is a kids' movie that kids and adults can both enjoy. Exactly. That's why Toy Story, that's why The Incredibles is so good. Why doesn't The Incredibles have a sequel, yet Cars does? And, and well, Planes I is getting, think, I think, uh, and Planes is getting a sequel I honestly next think year. Cars- Oh come on! You're serious? Wow. Yeah, it's playing the fire and rescue. It's like, sorry, no, this year, 2014. Oh Jesus! Well, I think Car- the first Cars movie was pretty good, but I don't think I think the sequel just kind of sunk it. Honestly, you don't need a sequel if it's if it if you can't if you can't make a proper continuation, don't make one. Yeah, I mean with Cars two, they pretty much went, hey, you know that uh, funny side character that was you know just in the movie just enough so he wasn't annoying. Let's make him the main focus. Oh. And uh, and but then Planes two's got the same. Same so problem. You know, Planes was, ori- Planes was originally supposed to just be a straight-to-DVD spin-off, but they decided to release it to cinema anyway, and it so clearly shows. Mm. How uh, did you know how, how to go with views? Uh, it, it, got cri- it got a critical panning, but I think it did just well enough. But I don't think it was like one of the huge hits at the moment. Yeah, um, I can see why it wouldn't be. I mean, uh, I don't... Yeah. I've, uh, but, uh, yes, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired with... Pixar aren't trying hard enough anymore. I mean, Disney aren't. And well, Monster, you're right though. Like Monster University was pretty good, but I still, I still think they they can do a lot better. Like they really, they've been slacking off for a couple of years now, in my opinion. Yeah, but uh, yeah, hopefully Pixar can actually do it, do good again. But I just want them to make a sequel to The Incredibles because that was that was prime for sequels. And they I didn't... agree. You know, I always wondered why there wasn't. I was like, so why is it this piece of crap? No offense to them, but. Getting a sequel, but not like The Incredibles. People love that movie. Yeah, oh, I well. still watch it on TV. Exactly. 
Uh, so, moving on to number nine, um, R.I.P.D. Which uh, one? R.I.P.D. Hmm. You know, Ryan Reynolds in that way he's a ghost. Oh, oh my God. That one where he dies, he's an yes. Asian. And, oh my God, that, that shit sucked. The movie that tanked this year. Absolutely is that the one? Wait, wait. Is, I'm trying to... Because uh, it's been a while since, since I've actually seen the movie. But is this one... I know I saw this one. I remember. Is this the one where Ryan Reynolds, he's like an Asian or cop or something. He dies no, and he no, got to be... No, he's a normal cop. He dies, but he's like a ghost. But in the real, but in the real world, he's seen as an Asian. Yeah, no. Yeah, and then and like his partner's this guy he's seen as like this tall blonde lady or something. Yes, that's him. Played oh, by... Oh, my uh, God, that movie sucks. Yes, played by Jess Bridges. Oh, God, that movie was so bad. They tried to... It was basically trying... They ripped off Men in Black and made it just... You know, I think the concept would have, would have been a good idea, but the, the, the storytelling was just awful. I'm sorry, but... And like the cheap, the corny lines and... Nah. It was based off a, off a, off a graphic novel and I've read the graphic novel. It's great. The graphic novel's great, but this, my God, it was. You know, they tried I've never, to, they tried, I'm sorry. They tried to rip off um, Men in Black and Obviously. Ghostbusters, put them both together in the movie, and it. T- oh God, it was a train you know, wreck. Um, this is what they don't understand: Men in Black and Ghostbusters. They're successful, but they're separate entities for a reason. Exactly, but uh, it was so, especially um, the. <laughs> It was just a case of the problem with the major problem with it. I found was that really there wasn't much. Like yes, there was all these like big peril things happening, but you never really at no point did you feel like um, uh, the characters were any kind of danger or. And also, just none of the actors felt like they were trying. Apart from Jeff Jeff Bridges, which he was the you know he was Ryan Reynolds' part uh, like mentor partner guy. And, yeah. Uh, that's because Jeff Bridges is awesome. But that's, I mean, you know, I feel like Reynolds' career has gone downhill for a while because, well, we all know Green Lantern kind of sunk in uh, the theaters. He's, and he's a be- he's, this. He's, um, you know, the last good movie that I saw from Reynolds' part was probably The Proposal from 2009. Yeah. yeah. That's the last good movie, at least in my opinion, that's the last good movie I've seen him make. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. He's becoming box office poison as well, actually, because most of the movies in it are starting to tank. Like he's gonna, he's. I really, because he actually is a very, he has like a lot of charis- He's a very charismatic actor, but he really needs a better person to pick script for him because he does. He's having terrible luck at the moment. I know that's a bad thing because like he has a lot of potential. I think he did great in the proposal, but like I haven't seen any other movies since then that actually interested me with his acting. I mean, what else did he? What else? Uh, oh God, he did that awful, other awful movie. Remember when he was he was that spy? He was that playing that spy trying to, with and his best mate was was also a spy and they were trying to. Oh uh, yeah. Remember that? God. Yeah. Train wreck. Yeah. Uh, so, I just hope Ryan Reynolds can get better work. He, he's a good actor. I honestly think he can be a good actor. I feel he's, like, just, I, he's, honestly, just getting, yeah, he's just I, getting I, the wrong parts. I honestly think he could have. He was a good Green Lantern, but the, it was just the, it was the script that was the problem. He was good enough to play Hal Jordan, I thought, but. He needed a better script. Green Lantern needed a better script by far. They really should make another one of those, but like with a, I don't know, with like a better script or something. Well, with they're just really, well, they're justice. really not doing they're really not doing superhero movies justice anymore. DC, uh, I'm I'm giving I'm getting close to giving up with DC at the moment because they they're, Wait, they're no. rushing out ju- they're rushing the Justice League movie and they might as well bloody call uh, Batman vs Superman Justice League with all the stuff they're pulling off with that. I mean, but get- I thought it was ju- I thought this the Man of Steel Steel sequel. It's not a Justice League movie. It's a Batman vs Superman. Yeah, crap. but you know, it's got Wonder Woman in it now. Oh yeah, no, and everyone's and everyone's complaining about who Wonder Woman's gonna be. Well, it's because her only acting credit is Fast and the Furious. True. Yeah, but uh, and also, have you heard that Dwayne Johnson's gonna be? Uh, you know. Uh, J- Wayne the Rock Johnson is going to be it, and I'm very terrified that he's going to be cast as Cyborg because if that is because wait, I, Dwayne, he's going to be in the movie. He's he said he's he's he said I'm in a new DC. I'm going to be in a DC movie. He hasn't said which one it's going to be, but if he, is, I'm so worried that he's probably going to get cast as Cyborg or something like that. And if he does, I'm giving up on DC immediately. No, no, no. If they bring if they bring the New Fifty Two Justice League into a movie, I'm giving up completely. Mm-hmm. I mean, seriously, that's bad enough. Like, like, oh crap. I mean, like, Man of Steel isn't really didn't really have all the most New Fifty Two, you know, just like the classic stuff. Yeah. Why don't you just if you're gonna if you're already tainting the comics, can't you and the TV shows? Can you at least keep the actual like live movies, like you know, the classic stuff where people actually like? Yeah. Really? Oh, trust me, we'll get to Man of Steel. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, but anyway, number eight on my list was um, After Earth. If you remember, After, oh, the one with Will Smith movie. Will Smith and his son. Oh, made... I actually I didn't see it in theaters, but I just actually saw that last weekend. I rented it. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I can tell you a couple things. If you, can I? Do you mind if I start off on this one? Oh yeah, sure. Because this is one I, I'm a little more familiar about. Uh, I saw it last weekend on the movies, obviously, but I thought that honestly, I thought that the idea was pretty good, and I did like the working relationship between you know like the how Will Smith was like the overbearing father and like the commander and like the kids trying to live up to his dad's shadow. Okay, but really, Will Smith didn't do anything in the movie. I mean, I'm sorry, but like I understand he was hurting the whole point was that the kid was trying to like be like his dad or whatever, but. He didn't do anything in the movie, so I don't really see the essential part. He, they made it sound like, oh, he's like the legendary, the legendary um, commander and crap. That who, oh, the, the one who could go so well, but he didn't do anything. Like he and, was just and his name, Cipher Rage. Really, that was his written name. Like, you think his name? You think his kids could tie is any better? I know. He's like, really? Did no one go? That name is awful. That sounds like a bad eighties movie name. His name is Cypher Rage. Like, <laughs> um, plus you know what? They didn't really explain the whole ghosting thing there, or what happened to Earth. Like, okay, yeah, it's been a thousand years, but you could have yeah. explained a little better what actually happened. It also makes it also it just it makes no sense. It's also because also Jaden Smith is not ready for acting. Can I just say he's not? He's uh, he's not ready yet. He's he's been it's that it's clear his dad wants him to live in his footsteps because. It's so clear, and he wants. Well, you know, Jaden did do a movie with him when he was younger. He actually did pretty well in yeah. it. Uh, it was called The Pursuit of Happiness. Happiness. Yeah, he was little there, but he actually did the part work pretty well, in my opinion. That was Will Smith wants an Oscar movie, but yeah, um, yeah, that was that, that was a good, that was a good movie. But this one, also, you got to Will Smith. One of well, the that's, most... it's just another thing though, because in The Pursuit of Happiness, the ma the main character was Will Smith. But yeah. yeah, his son was there, but the kid was little. He didn't really have much. He actually more had more of a minor part. And this one, basically, they kind of. This is what I don't like about this movie. The whole thing, they're, they're like, they're like flaunting. Oh yeah, Will Smith's the star of the movie, but at the end, he's just sitting on the sidelines, supposedly bleeding to death, while his kids out there. Okay, that's yeah. fine. But like, he's they're, they're trying to they're trying to like. Will Smith is was the star of, of Pursuit of Happy. That's why it did so well. And the kid, but like the kid's not ready for such a big spotlight. That's just the thing. Yeah, and this was, and you know this this movie was written by Will Smith. Well, the story was by Will Smith. Yeah, I know. And it's always this was honestly I honestly see this as the movie Will Smith wanted to make. Right, this is the movie that's going to make my son a star, and it failed because it showed how how his son wasn't ready yet because Jaden Smith really isn't ready for act, for big time acting yet he needs more time yeah, he, can, he can be in the movies like Pursuit of Happiness they did great together but to have such a huge role no because he was basically the main the main character of this movie i mean will was just on the sidelines yeah. you know and like you know, you know he wants he kind of desperately wants all his kids to follow his footsteps you know his daughter was in the movie too right and she's all she made that god awful um, oh don't remind me yeah. have you ever seen the movie this i love this movie i am legend it wasn't she was a little girl that was supposed to be yes the, yes that, she was robert neville's daughter yeah i mean that was like a camu appearance but she was still in it. i mean he wants all he's like kind of desperate for all his kids to be actors too and also i'm saying you've got will smith one of the like one of the most charismatic acting actors in hollywood and he's supposed to play a character that has no emotions and trying to do a very bad like trying to do a very like i don't know kind of samuel jackson sort of morgan freeman kind of accent I didn't really. It wasn't all that believable, in my opinion, because he's not really that kind of like. He needs like emotional part. That's kind of what what hits it for him. Yeah, it's he's like say, and he's playing a character who's who has no, who's basically has no emotions, and he's like, and there's just so many like, plot, and there's so many plot holes in it as well. Like, um, why does the eagle suddenly take up uh, what Jaden uh, Jaden Smith's well, character? That's how the hell did the eagle even die? Was it did it, it die froze? In the it froze to death, keeping yeah. Jaden Smith warm. So which why makes no sense. Is how so could this eagle? How could have this eagle survived evolution if if the planet freezes every single night? So another thing, how? Why did the eagle? The eagle took Jaden for food. Uh, why or Katai or whatever? Why does it suddenly save him? He he took him for food. Then he took him for. Then he took him as he was thought he was one of his like sons or something like that you know like one of his chicks and then mm -hmm. just like saved his and then saved him from the cheetah and then saved his and then stopped him from freezing to death by sacrificing his head. it made no sense there's literally no sense to be had in this movie and and also there isn't there's also the part where the like the main like monster thing that's hunting him saves jaden smith's life for no reason at all 
Like, could have easily let him die. But no, saves him for what reason? And then they just go back to fighting each other. That doesn't make sense, I right know. It's a real... Yersa? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. He's like, oh, he can just, he can now magically go just like his dad. And it's like, shouldn't he have gone through some kind of, like, I don't know, some kind of experience? Well, yeah, he was going through, I don't know. I just think they should have, they should have, like, built suspense up better for that part. Yeah, and, uh, it, it, M. Night Shyamalan as well, I mean, he may, he, M. Night, he's, the, he's basically become the ghost, he's, be, sorry, the joke of the, um, Hollywood scene, hasn't he, M. Night? I Let mean, me ask you a question, this night guy, isn't he the one that made the last Airbender movie? Yes, he made the last Airbender that's movie. That's why, that's why, because when I saw him on, I saw his name on the screen at the one after I, I finished watching, in the credits after I finished watching it after Earth last weekend, I'm like, oh god, please don't tell me this guy that ruined the last Airbender movie. Yes, it was, he was the guy. like, because I want to think, like, dude, the the series are great, but your movie sucked. He uh, no, he didn't make he, like he didn't make the series, obviously. Um, but he made uh, he made the no, movie. No, no, that's what I'm saying though. He ru- he he ruined the he kind of helped ruin a little bit the a little bit the image of a great series. And he also made um he made that god uh, devil I think it was you know that one where there was six people trapped inside the lift and one of them was, and one of them was Satan. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I hear he's, he's trying to make he. he well, he, I don't know if he's still, still true. Like a couple months ago, he he came out and he was thinking of making a Last Airbender sequel. I'm like, no, don't ruin it. <laughs> how critic, how bad that thing got critically and like just got destroyed. I doubt that's gonna happen. Like that movie got. <laughs> you know, it's plus like all that all that bending and stuff. That's a lot better in animation, not in a live action movie. Oh, don't get me started on the last. I mean, I did a review of the last F movie, and you know, my, at the moment I immediately knew that. I, I mean, I knew the movie sucked, but the moment that made me go, "This movie is a terrible movie," was when you had the four. That was it. No, it was the six Earth Benders moving that one rock that they quite have could quite have easily carried themselves without pulling off all those moves. Oh God. I just took one look at the way they they portrayed Aang, and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Um. But yeah, not- After Earth was a. M. I. Chal. M. I. Chal isn't a good director. I mean, he got lucky. I think his only good movies are The Sixth Sense and Unbreakable. But everything else he made after that was just crap. Uh. I mean, he, but I. Honestly, he's pretty much become the director that you know. Like, there's always direct. There's directors that the film studio will proudly put in front of, like the credits, like directed by Steven Spielberg or Peter Jackson or Galmiro del Toro, something like that. But M Night Shyamalan has now become the case of like, oh, is M Night Shyamalan directing this movie? Make sure he's he's attached to none of the promotional stuff for this. It's- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'd rather not watch him ruining more good movies. So I'm good. Yeah. Uh, number seven on my list was Stephanie Myers, the host. I saw it. You know. Oh, God. <laughs> Stephanie Meyer ripping off herself and make it basically Twilight but with aliens in one of even I will honestly say the romance in Twilight was better than the romance in The Host because at least in The Host the main the character that the woman's supposed to be falling in love with her wasn't getting the shit beaten up by him the crap beaten up by him but she still loved him that makes no sense oh god and I'm so glad this movie bombed because this is basically you know all those like um, Twilight ripoff films that have been coming out. Oh, yeah, they're all been doing really badly in the box office. And I'm so good glad because of its like we need to move on from Twilight because uh-huh. I mean what was that other one? Uh, Mortal Instruments, wasn't it? Oh God, yeah. Remember that? Mm-hmm. The, where they turned uh, Van Helsen basically into a. Uh, into a Twilight character, and they do only do. There's also oh god, I forgot. There's one next year. I Frankenstein. Oh god, no. Yeah, as soon as I saw the the, I was actually at the movies last night. As soon as I saw the um, yeah, the commercials for that one, I'm like, oh god, when are we gonna stop doing this? Yeah, it, it's it. The host was just poor. It it's if it, when it's the movie that even the Twilight fangirls say is bad, you know you've made a bad movie. Mm-hmm. And it's just so. I mean, I can't really say anything about this movie. As I said said before, because everyone else hated it, and I hated it as well because it's just so bad. It was so bad. I know, and it's like are we, we're still talking about the the movie Benjamin, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think 
I think like the love, the whole love crap in that. I think the whole like love romance shit. In if anyone's been seeing Legend of Korra, which is it's a good show, but the the whole love triangle thing is just horrible. I can I think most of us can agree that even that is better than what they're doing than what they did in this movie. In yes, in the oh god, even actually even the non romance that was in uh, M Night Shyamalan's last step in the movie, you know the the Katara and Ang thing, which wasn't was supposed to be there but wasn't there at all. Even that was better than the host. I know. Oh my god! And then yeah, like, let's just let's just like say it's. There's it's just time so much, to move on. It's just so bad. There's not you can't really even talk about it. It's so. It's just so time to move on now with all this Twilight crap and. Yeah, well, Twilight Twilight ended like last year, like almost two years ago. It's time to let it go, really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and actually, which, which is a good thing. This is, I think, this is the last Stephanie Meyer book that's going to be adapted to film because I think that was the she's only written five books, and I hope she doesn't realize sixth because she. I mean, when Stephanie Meyer herself comes out and said, "I don't like doing research about these sort of things before I write my books," that's basically that's why Twilight in Twilight the vampires sparkle and the werewolves can change whenever they want because she didn't do her research. Well, the whole if you're gonna do an adaptive film um, or something, you need to do some research for at least for a book. I mean, then what the hell is the point of doing a book with mythology or or history or whatever? You know. I mean, and also you can clearly tell with the host that we're trying to make this like the next Twilight trilogy, and it the first movie bombed, so it's clear that's not gonna happen, which I'm so thankful for. And uh, uh, and it's it was bad. It was bad, and two, really, two thousand thirteen wasn't a good mo- year for movies, as my no. next six will prove. Because things get even worse. But you know what? There's a, there's a couple good ones coming out this year, so that's something that I hope. I hope there's like a lot of like really good ones coming out, so I'm hoping that'll yeah. work. Like obviously, like obviously, everyone knows the movie I'm looking forward to the most is Godzilla. I'm so oh, yeah. looking forward yeah. to that. No, like uh, there's a couple I want to I want to watch too. Like I heard that there might be a new adaption of Romeo and Juliet coming out. I don't there's know when. Always, there's always an adaption of Romeo. There was one this year. I know, but like, well, one that I know more about. Well, when did it come out though? Uh, I think it was kind of um, middle of the year time. I think. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't heard heard much about it's, it again. The same, but every pretty much every every year you're gonna get your you're gonna get your Shakespeare adaptation. There always is. Um, Bro. But uh, yeah, so. Um, I think yeah, I'm at number seven, so this will be the end of part one, and I will put this link in the an- I put an annotation thing. So click here if you want to move on to part two, where we go from six down to four, and uh, here we go.